Hi everyone and welcome back to Wondering Wild. I'm so glad you could join me for this Misunderstood Monday. Today we're going to be learning about skunks. Now, if I asked you what you thought about a skunk, you would probably say smelly. This is due to that legendary defense mechanism that's almost impossible to remove and horribly smelling. However, there's much more to these small mammals. And that is what we're going to talk about today. Now, skunks come in all shapes and sizes. However, most are around the size of a house cat. They're striped, spotted, and even swirled pattern, striped being the most well-known, but they're almost always that vivid black and white. Skunks are pretty much only found in the Americas. However, recently they've added the Asian stink badgers to the skunk family. Skunks nest in burrows that other animals have made, or sometimes maybe in hollow logs or even abandoned buildings. Sometimes they'll nest up in attics, which can cause a big problem if you might understand why. Now, skunks during the coldest months will use these burrows as a place to hibernate. So they go almost completely dormant so that they don't have to use up food reserves as quickly when there's not as much food around for them to forage for. Skunks are opportunistic feeders, so they eat anything from insects to eggs to snakes to fish. Females give birth to about 2 to 10 young per year, and these babies are called kits. Now, they're blind until about 3 weeks of age when their eyes are no longer sealed. Now, skunks in general can live to be about 3 years old. Now, obviously, skunks are known for their smell. When scared, a skunk will do a handstand type movement and shoot a stinky, oily substance from a gland underneath their tail. Now, though this substance is not harmful, it smells very bad. And if you were a predator, you wouldn't want to smell strongly because then for as long as you smell like that, it'd be very, very difficult to sneak up on other prey. So this smell, in conjunction with their vivid black and white coloring, allows them to pretty much be a deterrent to predators. So a predator really only has to be sprayed once or see someone else sprayed once to know that the black and white animal makes you smelly. Therefore, you probably shouldn't hunt it unless it's all that's left. However, skunks really aren't aggressive, so they're not going to attack you unless they feel threatened. And because they're nocturnal, the odds of you running into one are really low. Some other fun facts about skunks include the fact that a group of skunks, even though they're not often found in groups, is called a surfeit. As well as the fact that skunks will dig up yellow jacket nests and eat the nests in their larvae. So that's a good thing for us because nobody likes to run into a yellow jacket nest. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Misunderstood Mondays. I hope you enjoyed learning all about our smelly friend, the skunk. And next time you see one, hopefully from afar, you'll know just a little bit more about them. As always, all of my sources are found in the description box below. And if you have any questions, please comment. I hope you enjoyed this today, and as always, stay wild and never stop wondering.